line pressure causes an explosion and a series of fires in a small Lake County village that has prompted evacuations, making for a frightening morning for residents there. And we have live team coverage. Good afternoon. Continuing coverage right now of a story we broke this morning and been following all morning long out of Fairport Harbor, Ohio. That's along the Lake Erie coastline in Lake County. There, many people have left their homes due to fires and gas leaks. The cause is believed to be an overpressurization of a gas line. We have live team coverage and begin with News Channel 5's Justin Michaels. Justin, let's bring you in. What can you tell us? Well, Leanne, here's what we have so far. We have some very important phone numbers that need to go out to people in our viewing area that may be affected by this. I want to give you those right now, and I will be repeating them later in this uh, live shot that I have here. But let me give you these phone numbers right now. The phone numbers are 440-350-5469. And also 440-350-5470. Again, 5469 and 5470. We'll have those again for you in a moment. But what those numbers are are the numbers people here can call to get information about when they can get back to their homes and what they need to be doing. Now, let me give you an idea of how this whole thing played out, and then I'm going to tell you exactly what happened to cause it. Around 644 this morning, the first call came in of gas and fire at a home up on High Street here in Fairport Harbor. Within 15 minutes of that call coming in, the fire had spread to a second home. And from that point on, as many as 30 calls came in about gas in people's homes, and as many as 12 to 15 fire calls were called in. Some of those fires very devastating. Here is some video from the scene earlier today of those fires. Now, good news is there were no injuries reported. Very good news there. No one was hurt because of this. And we have uh, several fire departments from all across the area that responded to this. Take a listen now to the Deputy Fire Chief of Menor's Fire Department about all the people that did respond. Take a listen now. We have people from Lake County, Geauga County, uh, Ashtabula, and Cuyahoga County that are here assisting. Now, again, what exactly happened was too much pressure in the main gas line that went into Fairport Harbor. That gas pushed in, and what it did is basically expanded pilot lights in people's furnaces. And those pilot lights, being larger than they typically are, caught those furnaces and other parts of people's basements and homes and apartments and businesses on fire. And that's what caused this initially. Now, this did affect a lot of houses and areas uh, on High Street North and also east of High Street. Street. Now, we do know that the gas pressure has been normalized. There is no more threat to the people here. That is also very good news. And we also know what will be happening now, Dominion Gas. They are going to be going to every single dwelling, every single business, every single structure in Fairport Harbor to make sure there is no more threat at any of these homes. They're literally going to do go door to door to make sure that there is no more threat. Again, the phone number so you can find out more about that and what you need to be doing and when you can get back into your home. Those phone numbers again for you, 440-350-5469 and 440-350-5470. Those numbers will be on Newsnet5.com where you can find continuing coverage of this. For now, Leon, I'm Justin Michaels. Uh, send it back to you. Many thanks, Justin. We appreciate your work out there in Lake County reporting on the fire and the gas problems there in Fairport Harbor. Well, as we've mentioned, this is a story we have followed for the last five hours or so, and we have several crews out there in the area, Fairport Harbor, that's in Lake County. Right now, we turn to our colleague, News Channel 5's Dan Haggerty. He has new details on the situation where you are. Dan, let's bring you in. What can you add to the, our coverage on this story? Well, we're going to talk about some of the people involved here, Leon. The community center behind me is where uh, it's kind of a hub where most people can come and get some more information about when they can go back to their houses. Now, everybody in Fairport Harbor are essentially affected by this because Dominion is going in house to house, structure to structure, building to building, making sure uh, that the gas is right before people can get back into their homes. They have sent some people back, but the uh, street that was mainly affected where these fires were, everyone there knows each other. You know, they all know each other on that street. Street, and it's been uh, pretty interesting. A few hundred people coming through uh, this community center. I uh, am joined here now 
Uh, Chris, you're the director here, yes, and you know a lot of the people that have come through here, but you were also directly affected by this. Tell me about this morning and how you knew something was wrong. Well, this morning, I when I got up, we heard our um, heating system turn on, and we heard a loud noise, and we smelled smoke. So we went downstairs, and luckily, we decided to shut everything down, and we called somebody to come in and look at it immediately. Right. But then we went in our back room to light our gas um, heater, and there was no gas to our house coming in. Now, you went outside at this point, and what no, did you we, see? No, we went, and then I looked out my big picture window, and I saw fire trucks all of a sudden going by, and I thought, well, okay, they shut the gas off. So then I... I, I got a call from my neighbor, and I said, just check your gas and right. find out. And so we talked to each other. She said, I just got a call from my um, somebody that said, get out of your house. And so we, I grabbed my dog, my daughter, me, and my husband, and I raced down here to open up the senior center for people that I had a feeling were going to be displaced. So now, things got scarier, though, because well, you had to I head had home. A, I had to go back home, and when I went back home, um, I got ready. I hurried up. I just got all, as, as much stuff as I could in a bag. And when I was trying to leave Fairport, there was so much smoke. It was really, it was this very scary sight to see. I, I've never seen anything like that. Could you see spe like specific I, homes no, you know on what? fire? It was so smoky down every single road. That's all you could see was smoke on every single road. So I didn't even know what houses were on fire at that point. Now, Chris, quickly, what can people do coming here? Well, they, uh, we tried to, what we tried to do is the Red Cross called immediately. They said they'd come right out. Um, um, they brought food in. We had people stay, um, staying here just to stay warm until they were allowed back in their homes. Some people were transported by Lake Tran over to Harvey High School because you couldn't even get into town. So right now, I mean, it's still open. If you don't have heat on, you can still come here. We um, had There was a lot of food delivered here. Right. People have been calling. I mean, people from everywhere have been calling, saying they make stuff and uh, drop it off. It's been really nice. Well, the community's pointing together, Chris, and uh, you're a big part of it. Chris Yano, again, Thank she's you. Uh, with the, the director here of the community. Community Center, thank you very thank much. You. People in this community can still come down here, as she was saying, but Dominion still working to get people back into their homes. We'll keep you updated from here. For now, reporting live, I'm Dan Haggerty. Leon, back to you. Thank you, Dan. And by the way, our crews will remain on the scene there in Fairport Harbor to bring you continuing coverage of this gas explosion and fire situation in Fairport Harbor. We'll check back in with Justin and Dan later on this broadcast. Plus, we'll talk live with Fairport Harbor's mayor. And we've been updating this story all morning long, by the way, on Newsnet5.com. And you will hear from our producer on Newsnet 5, Garrett Downing, about the coverage. And then you can also log in and get more information as we are on the air as well.